Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Acuna card to review today. So, we are taking a look at a card that is 5'8", high, high work rates, 4-star skill moves, 3-star weak foot. Uh, In-game player traits, he has the outside foot shot trait, in-game attributes. This card actually looks really saucy, man. Yeah, Acuna looks really, really saucy. So, 93 acceleration with 91 sprint speed. I'm actually going to try him out with the basic chemistry style. Yeah, I want to try him out with the basic chemistry style because the boost that he's actually given in all of the areas is definitely very nice. A dribbling boost, a little bit of a shooting one. Um, I do think that with this card, an anchor would probably make the most sense because of the pace boost that you actually give him at 98 acceleration, 96 sprint speed. You give him the defensive boost, you give him that crazy physical boost. But for the sake of the review, I do, I do want to try him out first on the basic uh, chem style to see what it's like. Uh, shooting on this card is really nice at 98 shot power. Yes, the finishing is at a 78, but obviously with a card like this, it's a very similar situation to Renato Sanchez. Like Renato Sanchez has low finishing, but the shot power compensates really well. So hopefully that translates well in game for Acuna. Uh, attacking positioning is also a 96. So on the balance instruction in that center mid area, uh, he could play that role really nicely. Long shots is also at a 97, which is really, really dope. Base card stats or passing is good. You don't have to look at that too much. Dribbling with this card is also very nice, considering the fact that he's a midfielder with a stocky body type, right? So mid-90s, high 90s for dribbling uh, with 97 composure is definitely great. Uh, defensive stats, uh, all in the 90s as well. I feel like this guy's going to be like a really good aggressive player just moving across the pitch like a monster. Uh, and then he also has the 95 aggression to work with really good pace, especially with the anchor chemistry style. And uh, the extra boost that you'd be giving him with the anchor, giving him the strength, the jumping, as well as the aggression. While working with 99 stamina at a high, high work rate. Okay, so a lot of really cool things with this card, to be honest. He definitely looks really dope. I'm really curious to see how he's going to perform in-game. Uh, we are going to be using the 4 one 2 and 2 uh, and we're going to be playing him in the left center mid position for the sake of the review here. Bruno will put over here, switch. Oh, no, we actually have to keep it like this because of the way the team is formatted. So we have to put Gomez up top here. If I could switch EA, Gomez up top. Jota through the middle because they're both high, high work rate. So it's a little bit of a balance right there. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll try him on that left center mid position and we'll see what he's like. I see this card being, like, Pretty decent at center mid, CDM, uh, even as a left back. That left back card, the showdown that they gave us before, that card was really good for a very large majority of the year. So, Bruno Fernandes. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Marcos Acuna. Oh, the ball's Dude, I worked like a really, really small angle right there, and he still hits that like a monster. Yo, you know what it is, man? It's the shot power for sure. Let's try a long shot from there. Love the animation. The animation, guys. Really nice there. So defensively, I definitely feel like I want that anchor chemistry style for that extra acceleration and sprint speed because, guys, that stocky body type in the defensive areas would be... Super nice to work with, with the extra pace on him, for sure. Nice build-up play, we'll take that. It was a good disguise run there with Acuna, too. That was sick. Go, Acuna. Good stuff. I want that little bit of an extra defensive boost, for sure, with him. The anchor is going to make a lot of sense, I think. Already being... Really good player showing there defensively. I like it. Yeah, so you can see just from running that I definitely want that acceleration sprint speed boost for sure. Nice tackle again there. Yeah, his dribbling is not too bad. I don't mind it at all, man. The stocky body type, I'm totally cool with in that midfield position. Nice. Good defensive play. Lovely finesse shot. Guys, his finesse shots are going to be good because his center of gravity is low. He's got this, like, really strong presence about him, right? And he also has the shot power to do it as well, so... Yeah, tackle gets right back into the play quickly. Love it. 
Oh, oh. His shooting is really nice, guys. I like that he does that, like, bending of the body animation. Really, really cool. Ooh, gets up from the slide tackle immediately. Great defensive play there, too. Without a defensive boost. Nice, Acuna. Oh, I had a feeling he was going to do that, too. Definitely want to get to that space quickly. This game is awful. Oh, that's got to be my ball every single day of the week, EA. I don't blame Acuna for that. So when they're in a the defensive position, EA is like, no, 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 we must, we must compensate the bad decisions. We must. Dangerous looking attack. Happy to take on the shot. Still got the shot off there. Yeah, I just wanted to go for a first time strike right there. Oh, not bad. Under pressure as well. You can definitely tell that his finishing stat is low, for sure. But, guys, with Acuna, it's the upgrades, right? Like, the upgrades can be crazy for a card like this. Look at that uh, nice little tackle right there. and Pass it off. Finesse shot from a crazy distance. Not bad. Okay, guys, so for this next game, we're going to be giving him uh, the Anchor Chemistry Style for the plus five boost on the pace, uh, as well as the extra physical stats that I feel like would be super nice in the card. Like I said, mid-90s, high-90s for dribbling stats is definitely very nice. Um, I guess the only real thing that I notice in the card in regards to being a midfielder is the weak foot at three star, right? Because he's more linear to just playing on his left foot. Uh, and then also the 78 for finishing, but it's the same thing with Renato Sanchez. Like Renato Sanchez doesn't have the finishing, but his shot power is basically his finishing. And it's uh, really, really uh, nice to work with. So we are going to try him out with the anchor instead now. Absolutely ideal. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me in the commentary position is the four You definitely don't notice the uh, dribbling difference from the basic chemistry style. For a card like this, because of the stocky body type, that base characteristic will be very similar. Ooh, let's go, Jota. We'll take that. That was a great run by him. Really, really good run. Like I said, guys, the finishing is in the shot power. Once you get into a high percentage strike area, he can score them. That extra pace I feel like was helpful there. The acceleration and sprint speed. Nice. Good interception there. I don't know if the pass was better there. Go for that first time strike on his left, you know? Could have been nice. Yeah, he does have that animation. That's sick. I like that he does it. It, it just takes better strikes. I don't know what it is. I just really like when they do it. It's a good directional, but I shouldn't have shot a near pulse. I don't know why I did there, to be honest. Ooh. That's a low percentage strike. He's a, he's really up there in the 18-yard box, but he still hits it, man. He really does. It's that shot power, dude. I'm telling you. It's it's situations like that where you'll notice the finishing being a little bit low, but even if you have high ones, it's not a high percentage strike in FIFA for that to be a consistent goal, you know? This is the type of card, guys, that like if you actually want to use him as a left back as well, like you just let's just say you're starting up your team in that way, right, with the Sevilla links and whatnot. Uh, he would actually play that role really nicely as well. Because obviously, the left-back version of the card was already doing a great job there. And obviously, with the high, high work rates, he'd be dope. I actually think that'd be his best position in comparison to him playing center mid. Uh, I think CDM, he'd be great too. The high, high work rates is awesome. I would just have like a balance in your team with the medium high work rates on somebody else. Yeah, once you get that angle, you gotta go for that first time fake shot. I could have waited for the run there, actually. It would have been perfect. 
Nice. Yep, high percent strike, scores it. Beautiful. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Acuna card. So in regards to how he performs in-game, guys, he's actually a very, very solid player. I like him a lot. Um, this is the type of card that you can pretty much use in the left back position, center mid position on balance instructions, pushing forward, coming back. He's very nice at doing both. Uh, and also in that left center defensive position, if you play him in a more defensive way, that could potentially attack from time to time, right? When you play players like this on stay back while attacking cover center, the high attacking work rate will still make them push up a little bit, which is why it's nice to have a balance of having one person being high, high work rate and the other person being medium high work rated, uh, just to have a nice little balance in your team in regards to pushing forward and coming back in the defensive areas, right? Uh, Acuna is a very, very solid card. Uh, the only things... The only two things that feel off, considering the fact that I would like to use him in most of those positions, uh, is obviously the 78 finishing, which, again, is not that big of a nuisance because if you take a look at Renato Sanchez uh, from his foot birthday card, obviously with the 5-star weak foot and the 99 shot power, 91 long shots, I still thoroughly enjoy using this card. Uh, so in comparison to this Renato Sanchez and Acuna, Acuna is also missing the weak foot, right? Just to make the card feel a little bit more uh, balanced in regards to the meta of the gameplay, because it's always nice to have a strong foot no matter what, because every single situation counts, of course. Uh, but is it a big nuisance? Not, not at all, right? The left foot is obviously very good. The 98 shot power, 97 long shots is already fine. Uh, he has that specific animation when it comes to his shooting. Uh, which is very cool. It's the bending of the body. Like when people do that, the animation of the shots just come off better. It's kind of like this nice little dip strike that they take. Long shots are not necessarily a really effective way of scoring in this game. So obviously, if you hit them, like congratulations, but they're they're pretty inconsistent, obviously. Um, I did like him better with the anchor chemistry style personally, but if you were to go with the basic chemistry style, it wouldn't be a bad choice either. I just feel like in this game, the pace is obviously very, very important. And I do like the extra physical stats that he actually gets with the anchor as well. So I think this card is really cool, guys. I think you guys would definitely enjoy it a lot um, if you guys end up packing it from some sort of future SBC and whatnot. And obviously with the fact that he could get upgraded in the key areas of the card, there's not a lot that needs to be upgraded. Like obviously finishing would be nice if it upgraded, but it's more the weak foot uh, being improved that I feel like is the most necessary thing uh, for this card, in my opinion. So yeah, definitely a very nice card. Hopefully Argentina do does well or well enough for this card to get upgraded because he's actually really solid. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.